Hey up everyone, it's the Oxpander. Welcome back to Theopolis 2. Where well, we've got a few more resources, we've got a few more things. Um I've let this run for a while, so these are all very full. Like very, very full. I need to get rid of these fertilized essence as well. I'll do that later. I really should have all the like pipes connected up to all of these with a Fertilized essence on the end just pulls them all out. Oh, I'll see to that later. Um, yeah, so I made a bunch more of um, the netherrack, that stuff. This stuff. Made a bunch more of this uh, because we've got netherrack essence. We can make netherrack through here. So I'll throw a bunch of the we'll crush it some more, crushed and saved a load of it already. So I've got some more prosperity shards, some more gold, which is smelted up. Before I uh, get that, we have got lots of netherite scrap, so I can make a stack, a full stack of netherite ingots, which does give us access to things like network transmitters and that. So we have got, an, ooh, we're grading our furnaces as well. Upgrades for the crusher, uh, access points for the kitchen, extreme reactor parts, we could make upgrade all our tools, we could make netherite seeds, which I think I already have, don't I? No, I do not. Oh, so the one of the first things we do want to make then is some netherite seeds. Foss premium essence. Which brings us back to this thing. This, this, this little dilemma. Oh, I can make them now, but I'm not going to. We've got just shy of 100,000 Infernium Essence. You can make a lot of this stuff. Problem is, with these autocrafts, it would ask you for, if I were to make 20 of them, it would ask for 20 infusion crystals, which makes it a little bit problematic. There is a solution, and that is by using sequential fabricators. Um, so what you could do is set an infusion crystal. Um, let me just grab some of you and grab the infusion crystal. Make that the recipe, put that there and that there. We set an output and an input. So the input is the inferno essence, the output is there. We set a pipe so that it, um, if I know we're doing a pipe, we just had an extra sequential fabricate here that goes up to the next tier. And then again and again and again, all the way up to. Uh, the Supremium and then have one at the end then have a draw for Supremium Essence which the auto crafters will craft this from Supremium and then Tertium from Imperium and, and so on and so on so it does mean I need one, two, three four sequential fabricators Which need more bronze. I love having mystical agriculture. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, 
three. Four. I also need four of these. <laughs> Which is the absolute pain in the ass part. Oh, yeah, we need Imperium Insanium as well. Oh, frig. So this is the absolute pain in the ass part. So for now, we're going to do this the old fashioned way. Uh, really, it's so I can get Enderman souls. So that I can start getting um, Enderman Essence, I can start um, making a lot more of the Redstone Flux stuff. We do need uh, to automate the Dimensional Shards as well. Which all of these can be got through essence, apart from the echo shards, which we can only get through skulking organic matter. Which needs to go through this process. So I'm going to have to set up an automation for that. But that's not too bad. Um, right, let's do this. Right, I'm going to back in a moment once I've got. Or is it 12 infern 12 insanium essence right, there we go I also realized at this point I could do with another one of these because we've got to go up to insanium not it's premium there we go right I do need as well a exporter I need a draw, which I can pinch one from there. Uh, I need my key, which I've got in my satchel. I need a... a storage bus. That's the one external storage. Da, 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 da. Right. And then I need you. Oh, and a bit of cable. Oh, and actually. <laughs> most of all, I need several of these. Which need the other crystals. Oh, bloody hell. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, shit. Back in a month. Do you know, that thing's still here when I met these, and I th thought it were a bug, and I think it is unintentional. I don't know about bug, but certainly unintentional. I just remembered. I can do that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. It just comes off the one, doesn't it? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I do need right. Well, I'll get rid of some of these. Stadium, just so I 
I can make. No, 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 that one. That one. There we go. Chuck all them in there. Chuck. I didn't need five of them. I only needed one. Got them. Bleeding Bennett. And I can see a wood in there. Right. Uh, this pack drives me crazy sometimes because I'm forgetting the basic stuff that I mentioned two seconds prior and I still forgot cables right so let's crack on right, so we're going to do this I think here so we've got fabricator 1 Um, all that and I need to get one piece of Infernium Essence and then we'll get forged to get started or 60 forged to get started right so this should work now so if we was two, uh, one, two, three, four, and one, accept that recipe, put them there, apart from that one, and here we've got exporter, and we're exporting Infernium, into there, we make that in, and that out, and we get this power, which is another thing I forgot to go and grab. Right. All powered up now. So that is knocking out the Prudentium Essence. So we tell that to output here. So we input. And that should start taking in. Uh, oh, it can't yet. This doesn't have a recipe. So we put those there, that there, tick. Put, there we go. And then that does the same. Output to that side. And then here. Oh no. There we go. That's the uh, in and out. And on this side. Oh, no, these. See, it won't even accept items unless it is a recipe. There we go. And that creates Supremium. And the Supremium goes into here and makes Insanium. Put in, out, turn them on. And then on this one, we put our storage drawer, which I'm going to lock, but my key's upstairs. Um, let's do that in a sec. And then we put storage cable so now you are producing prudentium which is producing tertium producing imperium producing supremium producing insanium uh, so I'll put <laughs> Brickos it slows down the further down this line that we get. So that's where we could do with some integral components to speed it up. So if we're just at thermal, um, well, two things. Integral components would speed things up massively. Uh, Right. 
Oh, I can't make gold gears because I've got gold. That's fine. So I've got gold um, essence now, so we can make gold essence. So that goes into the normal crafter. Grab and take a couple points from there, and we'll craft four more. And we got a crisp before sand. That being said. Um, sand is made like that. This is, where, this is where a lot of my craft is going to be filled with mystical essence stuff. So now I can craft four of those and it'll make the sand for me. And cook it up, that'll go into the... Uh, uh, when it comes to the next level of components, we need Electrum and Signalum. Signalum being uh, redstone, copper and something else. Redstone, copper and silver. Redstone copper, silver, and then what we do is turn them into seeds, so we've got signalum seeds, add them recipes in, and we can make the next level of components, which is that one, and then the last one requires lumium, which is silver, tin and glowstone and enderium which is diamond, lead and ender dust or ender pearl, so lead and ender pearl is fine but it's a diamond dust which is pulverised diamond all of those I can get, so once we've got that I can get those into the seeds and we can start creating these we also could do with um, Increases speed but reduces efficiency. Oh, that one. Electron plates, lead gears. So you can do with crafting some of those well. Use up more power but vastly increases the speed of them. There we got signalum there. Um, we also need signalum for a few other things as well, if I remember rightly. Uh, da -da -da -da, the gears. Remote detonators for bombs, the plates. For the dynamo dynamos, use up more fuel, but increases the output. And that's still good as well, so we do need quite a lot of these as well. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of my time off camera, this one is going to be filling out crafting recipes. Uh, for now though, let's just grab the rest of these. And there we go, Insanium. And what we do with these now is the ones that I've got in here, which are all the essence. We put all these back in here. And instead of uh, crafting up from that, all we do is we go the other way. Uh, like that. Uh, oh, no, 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 not that one. Uh, that's the blue, that's the blue, so that's tertium. 
Prudential. And the other one we don't do that with is Infernium, which we still got 70,000 of. Um, but I don't think there's anything we need Infernium for. Oh, apart from maybe these. But, ah, for that reason, it's probably good to save at least some of these. Right, well, I'll do then. I don't think I'll need 32 stacks of... This stuff. Just to make diamonds and things, and once I've made as many as I need, I can throw it all back in there. But that is. What is it? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26 stacks. That'll do. Uh, so into here, they all go into the crafter. Excellent. And now, um, so that I can make these Enderman seeds, I need four Imperium. Imperium farmland. Uh, I mean, that'll do for now just to let me make one of them. Just to speed things along. the seed, that's the essence, and we've got Enderman Essence, with the Blaze Essence that I've got, I can turn them straight into Ender Eyes, or I can turn them into Ender Pearls. So I go into here, I grab my current Ender Eye recipe. And we craft ender pearls like that. And we craft eyes of ender like that. Boop, boop, done. And now, if I was to go to here and look at flux networks, so I've got a basic storage there. If I were to make a Herculean storage, the other thing I'm missing is a bit more ender essence, obviously. And dimensional tool shards, which auto crafting these should be easy with one of these. So I'm going to set that auto craft up because that is going to be the fun one. Um, 
Oh, yeah, well, we're going to do another right seeds earlier, weren't we? That we forgot. Uh. Oh. Piss off. Really need to put a roof on this place. And these require some premium farmland. Oof. Set it off. Go into the uh, and there. And now we've got netherite scrap on demand as well. So excellent. Right, not no scrap, netherite ingots. So we're going to automate our dimensional shards. So back in a mo. Right, so dimensional shards. These are made like this. If put in a process a recipe like that. I then need um I need some pipes. So one of those. I need a uh Storage. It's not storage, that's the one. Um, no. Dang it. That one. Craft be some more of those. Let's see, it's still storage. Um, 10 rods of rods enough. Yes, 10 rods is enough. I've got everything else. Good. Right, so. Um, the way I'm going to do this is, uh, let me go back to dimensional. Oh, that, oh. So I need one, so I need a diamond. Glowstone, a silicon, a infernium, which I might have a, another plan for that. Uh, quartz, prismarine. Crystal, uh, a lapis, and a emerald, which I will need to get a seed for. So I'm doing the auto craft for this here. This is a bit more space. Um, I need nine hoppers. All of which that'll do actually. I'm pointing into these. All right. One more for you. We are going to need a click machine. Obviously, clicking. Not clicking the right way, is it? Ah, it is now. 
Right, click in this. The I have 10 draws here. are going to get locked which is in here there we go all right and then um, we put one of each of these into these outside slots the only thing I'm missing is a chest uh, chest or a barrel let's get a barrel for this So I already popped them all on, but it saved these applications here. So, um, oh, do you know what? I, the one thing I've forgotten is a bloody main thing in the center, enter. Right, echo shard. These I just saved the arrow from that, right? Okay. And then I want an echo shard for the middle. Right. I don't want it to craft it just yet, so let's just take that off. Okay, so uh just as a temporary, I'm gonna put you there. I want to put um, a barrel here. We're going to lock this barrel. We're going to replace it. No, that's not. I don't want the pattern in there. I want an actual dimension shard in there. Oh shit! Oh well. Let's do that. Uh, let's get the pipe back. Let's put our collector there. And so now, when I put that back in there, oh, bloody idiot! It's not a clicker, I need. Mean. It's a redstone clock. Lord of Bennett. in here. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, pop you there. Right, I'm going to try this again. So put that in there. That goes into the middle. Uh, right, pop that in there. That goes into there. That activates the craft. Craft turns into dimensional shards. Which get dropped and picked up by the hopper, uh, the item collector. Ooh, no, they don't. Pipe out. Right, uh, pipe wrench. goes in there, take you out, go in there as a filter, so you don't pull out the wrong thing. Right, I now need another filter. That, I'll just do that to make sure it's cleared. Um, do you know what? Let's grab the rest of the dimensional shards. 
throw them all in here. We have our barrel. Right, so before we do the barrel, let's do this. So I need pipes connecting to all the drawers. Not you though. here that pulls out the barrel throw that in there just so it pulls out quickly and then on here we add our no nope, that one thing so that's got nothing onto it let me get my refined wrench that's the one, so that's the same barrel, barrel, yep. Yeah. So that pattern goes into the... Uh... So when all these items get put into this barrel, the pipe pulls them out, puts them into the respective drawers. The drawers will hop them onto the pedestals. The pedestals will sit there until the clock ticks over. That'll convert it. That'll put the dimensional shards into here. And then what I do is not put it there like an idiot. Is we put the storage connector there, connect that up. So if I go back to here, it should say that I've got a couple of hundred dimensional shards, which it does. If I shift click, uh, shift control click that and say make me 320 more, I'm missing, oh, so don't make me 320 more, make me just 64 more. Craft. This is going like the clappers, and you'll see all these drawers have all dumped the stuff into there. It's gone into the hoppers, they'll slowly go into these, and we top it up on the dimensional shards. That is how you automate dimensional shards. The only thing, the only troublesome part we've got of all of this are the echo shards. The only way. We can get them is through sieving. We can't get to this matter yet, so we have to go through this. So we're going to have to automate gravel so that we can get pebbles. Automate a way of returning so many shards back into the system to produce more of the pebbles and more of this. And then also automatically produce that, automatically produce that. I mean, once we get to this stuff, which only needs an awakening all that stuff we can do and the fluid which is the end of fluid which is the da -da -da, same process the awakening we can't do because we need these bits and these all need refined obs obsidian which comes from mechanism which we ain't got osmium for yet anyway so we can't get that yet but that's all coming imminently. For now, though, that is it. We've gone a little bit over, but I hope that helps with the dimensional shards for now. Um, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you like it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification. Well, turn your notifications on so that you don't know when new episodes come out. And don't forget to go to the Discord link in the description for the community, new content, and everything there. You guys take it steady. Everything's a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.